Hey guys, today we're going to be using Canva.com to create a gang roll to order at my craft source. So this is Canva and this is what the interface of the website looks like. Today we are going to be using this program to create a 22 inch by 60 inch roll, which is our 5 foot custom full color transfer size. So when you go to create a design, you're actually going to want to click the custom size button. This is going to allow you to put the exact dimensions in that you want. And for the sake of this video, we're going to be using inches because that is what all our designs are measured in. So in the width, you would put 22 and in the height, you would put 60. Once you create a new design, it's going to populate your canvas. Now, this is when you would upload your transparent PNG files that you want to order, or you would um, go ahead and start clicking on the ones that you already have uploaded. So I'm just showing you here how easy it is to just click and upload those into the canvas. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing one at a time so I can show you how to resize them in the sizes that you want. A common issue with Canva is that people don't really know how to see the size of their design. So right here you can see that little gray box that popped up actually shows you the size and dimensions of the design once you resize it. Now if you release your click, it is going to disappear. So you need to make sure that when you are clicking and dragging that you're watching those dimensions. As you can see, it took me no time at all to fill this space up. It's very quick and efficient. Hit share and then you're going to want to make sure that you hit the PNG option. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you that whenever you do not use that size slider scale, this is what happens. So make sure you hit that transparent background because that is going to make sure that your file is transparent and does not have a white background on it because our uploader does require that. So you're going to hit download. And then once it downloads, we are going to head over to the Minecraft Source website. Once we're at the Minecraft Source website, we're going to go to the custom product. Now you have to log in to use this, so make sure that you log in and then you hit customizer. It's going to open our uploader. Once you are in the uploader, you're going to toggle to the right and you're going to choose that five foot option. And once you are here, you're just going to hit new on the left and it's going to allow you to choose your image from your files. So we are going to upload that file but as you guys can see it is small and you can actually click on this in our uploader and resize it directly on our website but the problem is is that it's going to lose quality canva naturally saves all of its files at a 96 dpi unless you tell it otherwise so for the sake of this video i wanted to show you this because if it doesn't fit the stage you're going to want to go back and resize your design in canva so now that we're back, we're going to slide that scale all the way to the size maximum. And then we're going to make sure and hit that transparent background button again. And once you delete this image out from the website and you now upload your newly downloaded file, you are going to see that it actually pulls it in and fits it to the stage. So now it is the correct size and scale. This is going to ensure that you're prints are the best possible quality. So you're going to hit save project and guys, please, please, please be very patient. I'm just going to be honest here. The files are so large. This actually took a solid four minutes for it to save. Um, when you scroll to the top after you hit save project, you're going to see this saving project little icon and it's going to be there for a while. So just like I said, be patient. Also to ensure that your design is transparent, just make sure that, you know, it's the same color as the background of the website. Once it saves, you're actually going to see your files on a white background down below. Do not panic. This is just to see and make sure that you can visibly notice none of your designs are touching or overlapping and that everything is um, clearly the, sun, the color that you need it to be. If you scroll down just below this, you're actually going to see that it's actually on a transparent um, image. So yeah, once you hit add to cart, that's it. You can order as few or as many as you want. You can order one or a million. It doesn't matter. And you can actually go back to the custom product size and see all the sizes and pricing there if you're not sure. 
thank you guys for shopping at my craft stores and buying your full color transfers with us. Have a great day.